Here's an intro to version two of my Flatten Faces plugin. Um, I've changed the name a little bit. Now it's called Unwrap and Flatten Faces. And there's a reason for that. And I want to show you that. So the original functionality is this. You have a face somewhere in your model or a set of faces um, that is arbitrarily oriented. Any kind of orientation is OK. Any height, any, any location. And then you right click on it click on flatten faces and this face will be squished down on the ground um, it basically will just be rotated and placed on the ground so that if you needed it for something else manufacturing or something you can now go ahead and and use it this works with um, several faces too so let's assume we got this case here where there's something that's just all over the map, but all of these faces are coplanar. So now I can see it shouldn't be uh, grouped. So make sure those faces are not grouped. So I'm going to highlight all of these faces. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to say flat. And what it does is it perfectly lays it flat. Now you can do a, a flat shot view, a parallel view, a top down view, and basically print this to scale and do whatever you want to with it. So that's um, the original functionality. And I've expanded it a little bit now for version two. Let me undo a few things here. Okay. What if you have an object like this that's made up of several faces um, that you want to have a flat version of? Now, traditionally, you could look for an unwrap plugin and use manual unwrapping. Um, I've tried to implement an automatic unwrapping here that uh, works actually pretty well. Um, it has a random uh, approach to it. So actually, every single unwrapping will be different. And you can always undo and redo and then basically use the one that you like. But let me show you how this works. So you have ungrouped um, geometry. You can highlight everything. You can highlight the edges too, but we, do, we need a bunch of faces. Then you right click on those. And you're going to find flattened faces again. Now it tells you that it found non-coplanar faces. These are obviously oriented in all kinds of directions. Um, the plugin will try to unwrap them first and then flatten them. So from here to there and then flat on the ground. This doesn't always work automatically. And I'll tell you in a minute why. Um, and you might want to retry with a different selection afterwards. But we'll, we'll just give it a try. So click on OK. And that's actually pretty good. Look at this. Yeah, nice and squished. So now let me just quickly undo this. Highlight again. Click on flatten faces again. Well, turns out this one is the same, but um, if you try this a few times, here you go. You're going to get different arrangements. One of them might be better than another. Um, uh, if you want to, you can always, of course, go in and manually fix things up. That's perfectly fine, too. But um, it'll, at the very least, give you a flat um, copy of what you had earlier. This works with more complex stuff, too. So here's a cone, basically, a cone section. Um, I'm going to say flatten faces. I'm going to say this here. Now, the problem with this approach is that it's basically a random start. So it starts with a face and then walks its way through, finds a path, and basically f squishes everything down. This might not work all the time. So in this case here, this might need a little manual fixing. Or you can go back and just try again and see if you get a better result the second time around. Sometimes it gets you know all kinds of directions. Um, a better approach, once these shapes get a little more complex, is not to highlight everything. You can highlight only parts. So in this case, I'm just going to highlight this middle part here. And I'm going to say flatten faces, and I'm going to have a really nice flat view of this. I got this, and I got that. And now I can go ahead and you know make those separately and put them together or whatever I want to. So this works really well, um, and uh, it's only the you know from from here on to more complex shapes where it gets a little tricky. So here's a here's a more complex shape. So here's a, a shell that I created with. Um, uh, soap, skin, and bubble. Now you could highlight everything right here. Could try the plugin. Uh, 
Flame faces right here. And it might work, but um, the way it's written right now is that it tries 100 attempts, different configurations of, of basically unwrapping this. Um, once you have too many faces and once it gets complex like this here, that just doesn't work too well. You see here, it only picked up some of them. You could go back, highlight everything again, try it again. You get a, usually an error when it goes this way, you know, there, this is what you get. So that's usually not a good approach for this. It's much better to then manually select a set of faces that kind of makes sense for you. So in this case here, I would want to cut this most probably out of fabric or something. And I'm going to, whoops. And I'm going to move these over right there. And then use it only on those. And it worked. Ta-da! Um, sometimes this doesn't work so well. Sometimes uh, you might actually have, um, let's try some more here, these guys. So, um, well, let's move it out of the way first. Right here. I'm going to try to flatten this. And it didn't work so well. So sometimes you actually, what you got to do then is, you might actually have to redo it multiple times. Either undo and redo or just do it on the remaining pieces right here. Right there. And so on and so forth. You get the point. And eventually, here you go. Now you got it all and you can actually go ahead and move this into place and, and do your thing. And you can then get, where is it? Got it right over here. This would be the unwrapped version of the same shell. Um, like I said, sometimes just <clears throat> do the multiple times. Sometimes you have to explode them and then just do a little manual cleaning. But overall, it actually works pretty well. So that's the new functionality. And remember, there's nothing under the extensions menu for this um, extension, for this plugin. It's all on the right click menu. So highlight one or many faces and then you click on flatten faces. All right, hope you like it. Um, you can leave some comments in the review section or uh, contact me if you've got any questions. Have fun.